Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a stencil out of vinyl on the Cricut machine. And for this project you can use any type of vinyl, just uh, scraps of vinyl lying around, any color, and it's very easy to make a stencil out of it. And then you can use this to paint any design on that you want to. Um, I will also show you in this video how I am going to paint this onto a canvas. Um, but you can do wood or whatever you want. And um, my sign is going to be for Fourth of July themed because Fourth of July is coming up. I hope that you guys like this video, so let's get into it. Go into the Cricut Design Space, and I am going to type out "Let Freedom Ring," and you can choose whatever you want for your text. Um, I'm doing a Fourth of July theme since Fourth of July is coming up, um, but you can kind of do whatever you want for your stencil. Okay, and then I'm going to space these out here. And then I'm going to go into defont.com to look for the font that I want. And the one that I want is Magnolia Sky, so I am going to look for that one. I've already downloaded this one, but I will just go through this process so you can see how I downloaded it. I just really love this font. I thought it was really pretty. So I just click on download. And I click on the little zip file here. And I go into this little box, this white box here. I double click on it. And then I just hit install. And it says it's already, in, it's already installed, but we'll just replace it. Okay, and then it should pop over onto our Cricut Design Space here. So when I go into font, I am going to search for Magnolia Sky. And here it is. So I'm just going to switch all that to Magnolia Sky. I'm going to group these here. And then I'm also going to add a box. I'm going to go into the shapes and I'll add a square box. And since we're making a stencil, you I add a box um, and I put the letters over it so it makes it into a stencil. And I'm going to unlock this here so I can make it any width and height that I want. And I am going to make it 8 by 10 since that is the size of my canvas. Okay, so I'll just drag this over here, and then I'm just going to move this back over here. I want to move this to the front, so I'm just going to hit move backwards. And then now I'm just going to play with my lettering. I just want to make it um, the right size, and also I want to group these letters together. Um, I wish there's a way that you can, let's see. There's a way that you can bring the text together, but it still doesn't form it the way that I like, so I just do it myself. So I'm going to ungroup this, and then let's go here, and then I'm going to resize these for about the size that I want. So you know what? I forgot. I can just I can just do that to make it bigger. <laughs> it makes it a little easier. Okay, that looks pretty good for right now. I'm just going to put the letters together. So I click on this here, and then I'm going to ungroup it so it'll let me move the letters together. See how that looks? You just kind of move it around until you find a spot that you like it. Okay, I like that there, and then I'm going to do the freedom part here, 
And you know what? I'm gonna. Ah. I'm just hitting Control and selecting all of that together, and I'll group it back up so I can move it back around. And then I'm gonna hit Freedom. I'm going to ungroup that, and then I'm just gonna put these together. Okay, so now I'll just group these back together. Whoopsie. That time I just hit shift to hit it all together and then I'll hit group. I'll change these texts to the different colors that I want. I'm going to be painting it white so I'm actually decided just to go in here and just change it to white. I feel like it'll just make it easier for me to see it. <sighs> okay, so I turn those white. And then I'm going to go into each word and I'm going to weld them and this makes it all one image and it'll even erase some of the lines. Let me click zoom in so you can see a little better. So you see that there's some lines here and right here so when I weld it it'll take those lines away and it'll make it all one image. So I'll go and do that with all of them. Okay, so now I have this group together, and I am going to go in and hit weld, and that will form it into all one image, and then I'll go down to ring. That's all grouped. Oh, these two aren't grouped here. Not let me group it. Okay, and then that welded all of that together. So, we have Let Freedom Ring. Now, I'm just going to size this how I want it. Okay, so I like that, and then I'm going to add um, some fireworks. Um, so the way that I did this is in my Magnolia Sky, in the Magnolia Sky, not in Magnolia Sky, <laughs> in Defont.com. If you go to fireworks, you I decided to choose this font and I click on download and since I already have this on mine I'm not going to download it again but then I'm going to choose uh, which ones I like to put on my um, on my stencil so I'm going to go to text and then these are the number fonts that turn into fireworks so and I can't think what it is called right now <laughs> okay so here we go Looks like it's in there, and I'm just going to look for one that I like. And actually, I like that one a lot. I'm going to change that white also. And I'm going to make it bigger. Just resize it for how I want it. I'm going to put it up here, and then I'm going to do one more firework. I'm trying to see which one I liked the best. I 
think I like two or three or two or four. Let's see. Let me see which one I like the best. I think I like this one. And then I'm just going to move this down here. I kind of like that size too. I'm going to zoom out and see what it looks like. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out one more time just to get a better look at it. Yep, I think I like that. Might move that over just a little bit. And I think that looks good. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to slice it to make it into a stencil. So I am going to move this box here. And then I'm going to select all of this. And I will group them to make them one image. So I'm going to group it together and then I'll weld it to make it one image. And then I'm going to move my box back here and just move it back to kind of where I had it before. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm trying to figure out where I had it. <laughs> Actually, I might just move it down here so I can see it better. So, Okay, so that looks good. So now the next thing I'm going to do is hit, hit my letters and then I'm going to hit control and hit the outside box. So I will select both of them. And you can see over here that they're both selected. If I click out of this and you see where my mouse is, if I can click right here, hit control and click right here. Oh, oh well, it's not letting me do it. Do it. There we go. It worked that time. You hit control or shift and you'll see that they're both selected. And then this time we will hit slice. So this will slice the image. So what you'll do is if you take it out. Oh goodness. You can see that it sliced it. I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. So you can tell now that it is sliced and it is ready to print. So to print it, we are going to go over to make it. And it'll show us what it's going to look like on the mat here. We'll hit continue. Okay, so it looks like it's ready and it is set to vinyl. You can kind of see over here it says material set to vinyl. So we know we're on the right material. And now I'm just going to show you how I cut the image on my Cricut. Okay, so I am going to load my mat with vinyl. And you can load your mat with any color vinyl that you want. It doesn't really matter what color because this is going to be used as a stencil that we are going to paint over it. Then I'm going to make sure that my Cricut is set to vinyl and then I will click on the arrow button to push the mat into the uh, machine and then when the Cricut button is lighting up you click that and the machine will start cutting. So now I'm going to unload my mat and I am going to take off the excess vinyl. We made a box so I'll take out all the excess of this and then I just have my stencil made. Then I'm going to turn my mat over and to take the vinyl off the mat you just fold the Cricut mat over so that you don't mess up the project. And then the next thing I'm going to do is weed out all of the letters. So this will be the opposite of what you normally do. You are going to take out the letters so that you can make it into a stencil. And I think it really helps to have this weeder. I don't know exactly what they're called, but um, this helps. It makes it go so much faster to weed out all of the vinyl.
going to do is put my transfer tape on the vinyl and this will make it easier to transfer it to my canvas and I use my scraper to push it down so that it'll stick onto the transfer paper. I'm using the Folk Art Acrylic Paint and this works really well to paint onto the canvas. And then I'm going to start painting my canvas with my black paint. And you can do whatever colors you want for this. Um, I have the white to use for the stencil part, but you can use whatever colors you want. This is 4th of July theme, so you could use red, blue, just kind of whatever you wanted. But I decided to go with a simple one today, which is black and white. And then I just did two coats, so here I'm painting on another coat of the black. Next, I'm going to put my stencil on the canvas, and then I will start taking away the contact paper. And this contact paper is so sticky, it took me a little bit to um, get it off of the canvas. But I used my scraper tool to help keep everything down, to keep the vinyl down on the canvas, and that worked out pretty well. The next thing that I did was paint over the stencil with Mod Podge and this just helps the paint from bleeding through and it makes it look a little sharper. So then the next thing that I do is paint over the stencil and I'm using the white paint and I try to make sure I don't have too much paint on my brush um, to try to prevent that from bleeding through as well. And here I am taking off the vinyl. I do this while the paint is still wet because I want makes it easier to take the vinyl off. And then I went in and did another little coat and painted a little bit more white over the letters. And here's the final project. 